see Bitcoin still in this consolidation if we zoom in. And you can see Bitcoin ran up again to this upper resistance, upper resistance at 30,908. And it's trying to get rejected. And it's been trading within this volume indicator right there. I tried to make this super simple and easy. And you got your three areas of support. You have your major overhead resistance at 34,000 if you could ever pump up. And you got your secondary overhead resistance at 32,140. And then the one that keeps getting you rejected recently in this local time frame is the 30,980. And then you've been getting supported in this top part of the white support box after some quick wicks, but it, you keep getting bought back up. So there seems to be some buyers down there, right? And we're gonna watch for that. Cause what you could do is just trade within this range right here. Something like that. You can keep doing this for the next few days, right? Because the markets are indecision. If you're trying to get bullish, you gotta get a buck here, hold it as support, and then trade off, right? This time you fail to hold it as support, fail to hold it as support. This one would have to hold it as support and then rebreach the gold high. That's what we're looking for right now in Bitcoin is to see what happens right here. We'll keep an eye on it though. And then we got Cardano. You can see it's pumped back into this bottom part of the foreign support zone. And the bottom part of the orange support zone is the last line of defense, AKA get my shit together to the shit house, right? But with that being said, with that being said, we've been getting rejected by that several times, but every time we come back down into the moving averages, we get the buyers coming back in. Oh my God. Of course it would fucking delete that because that's not what I wanted to delete it. But it, it brings the buyers back in now that my last line of defense has been officially deleted. Because this thing is stupid. But I believe it was somewhere here. I believe it was right in here somewhere. So we're going to put it back there. And you can see that's, yeah, that's about where it was. And every time we come down, we're getting supported by the moving averages. So if you want to get bullish, the key thing is now as these moving averages start to trend up in the four hour and when the moving averages start to trend up, they can start to act as support like it did right here and like it did right here. When they're trending down, the moving averages act as resistance, like back here, right there, right there, and it forces it down. But when you get over top of it and you can sit on top of it, you can start holding it as support, right? And then you can trade on up. So that's what we're going to look for here to see if you can't keep holding a base and maybe trade back up towards that major upper resistance at the top part of this white support or the orange support zone at 89 cents, right? And if we can't hold that, we're gonna come back down to some of these lower lows, but right now it looks like we could try to trade up a little bit. And then XRP, you can see XRP is trading up. It did hold beautifully when we wicked down the other day, right as it back tested it, see this? You back tested it, held it at support once, held it at support twice, bounced up, and then you're coming back up into a regional high at the 100 day moving average and you're being squeezed in between the 50 and red and the 100 and blue right here. You see that? And it's a tightening range. So if we can pop up with volume, your next run could be the 200 day moving average in XRP, which would be 45 cents at the current price. And that would be a, a major resistance point. Um, if you could pump up from here, looking at where the moving averages are and what's underneath and below it. But if you break down to 37 cents, uh, that's your major area you need to hold because you would fall quickly down to 33 cents for this uh, wick bottom. But I think right now you're building a little bit of a base and forming sort of a rounding bottom and you could get something like that come up, right? So we're going to pay attention.